polynomials, area, and perimeter problems. So we're going to take what you know about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing polynomials and applying them to problems that involve area and perimeter. So our first problem, how do you find the perimeter of a trapezoid? Well, I see my four sides on a trapezoid. There is a formula for area, but for perimeter, to find perimeter of a trapezoid, we just need to add up all the sides. So I add x plus x plus 5 plus x plus 5 plus x plus 4. Then if I look at combining like terms, I have x plus x plus x plus x is 4x. And I combine my positive 5, positive 5, and positive 4 to get 14. So 4x plus 14 is my perimeter of the trapezoid. And notice how with like terms, we cannot combine 4x and 14 together. It's just 4x plus 14. All right, new problem. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Well, we have a rectangle with some binomials for length, binomials for width. How do I find the area of a rectangle? Well, area of a rectangle is just length times width. So I have a length and width of x plus 5 and x plus 4. So notice how I'm multiplying a binomial times a binomial. And there is a method for multiplying a binomial times a binomial called FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. Multiplying using FOIL is, this method is only for multiplication of a binomial times a binomial. It is not for add, not for subtract. It's only for multiplying a binomial times a binomial. So if I do first times first, x times x is x squared. Outside, x times 4 is 4x. Inside, 5 times x is 5x. And for last, we have 5 times 4 is 20. Then I do have some like terms in the middle here. I have 4x and 5x. This would combine to be 9x. And my answer, 4x squared plus 9x plus 20, is the area of the rectangle. Moving right along here, let's go to a new example. How do I find the area of a square? Well, I notice it's a square because all the sides are the same. They're all x. So how do I find the area of a square? Well, I could do length times width, or I could just do a side squared. So I could do length times width as x times x, or I could just take one of the sides and square it. So the area of this square is x squared. Now we can take these two problems and put them together for a harder kind of problem. How would we find the shaded area? How would I find that pinkish area? Hmm, well, I have a rectangle and I have a square. Oh, and they look very familiar because we just found the area of a rectangle with a length of x plus 4 and a width of x plus 5, length and width of x plus 4 and x plus 5, and we found the area of a square with a side of x. Um, how do I find the pink area? Well, in general, what I want to do is I want to take the area of the large rectangle and I want to subtract out the area of the square. So to find just the pink area, I'm finding the area of the large rectangle, and I'm subtracting away the area of the small square, and the amount that's left is just the pink shaded area. So we had already found the area of the rectangle with x plus 4 and x plus 5 as length and width. We found it as x squared plus 9x plus 20, and we want to subtract away the area of the square. Well, the area of the square is x squared. So now I just have some like terms. Well, what happens when I combine a 1x squared and a negative x squared? Well, they're opposite coefficients. Positive 1x squared and negative 1x squared cancel out and just leave me with 9x plus 20. So 9x plus 20 would describe the shaded area in pink. And I hope that helps you guys get going on finding the area and perimeter of shapes involving polynomials. You can always find your other formulas, like you're finding area of trapezoid. You can always look those up, find those easily. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.